Hi there. I'm going to use GIMP 2.8.10 to uh, create and save paths as an SVG file for use in CNC um, carving. I've chosen this image. I'm going to use this image and create an SVG path out of the hands. Uh, the first thing I want to do is determine what size board I want to use. Um, let's cut this down to a more desirable size using the crop tool. Okay, let's say I have a board that is 8 inches wide. It actually measures about seven and a half inches. What I want to do is go up to image, scale image, and then change the height of this. Um, I'll change the increments to inches, change the height to 7.5, and hit scale. And now I'm going to select the entire canvas using select all and I'm going to turn this selection into a path using select to path and then over here in our path stockable dialog it will show that we have a path created click on the eye icon to make it visible and it shows a red outline now let's go back to our image the layers dockable dialog click on the image under colors go to threshold move the node around until you get an image that looks good the threshold turns an image into a full black and white with no anti-aliasing or feathering and I'll use the fuzzy select tool to select the black and turn the black into a path using select to path and then over in our dockable dialogs it shows another path click the eye icon to make it visible now to export both paths as one SVG file we have to merge them together so if you right click on one of the paths and click on merge visible paths turns both paths into one path and then to save it we'll right click it again click on export to path I'm going to save this on the desktop as hands.svg now it's important to include the .svg so that your cam software can recognize it and open it I'll save that. Now I'm also going to make another uh, sign. Doing this, I'll hit File, New, set it for inches. Let's say I want to make a sign that is five and a half inches in in uh, width. Um, actually. To be able to view it properly, I'm going to do it in height, 5.5 inches in height, and let's go um, with, let's say, um, 10 inches in width. Click OK, and that gives us a canvas to work with. We'll select all to select the whole thing turn that selection into a path and then over here in the path stockable dialog we'll click on the eye icon to make it visible we can double click it to see the nodes now we still have the selection I'm going to make the selection smaller by choosing select shrink Make sure we have inches. I'm going to shrink it by a quarter of an inch and click, click on um, 
OK. And that gives us a smaller selection area. Sometimes I like to use the rounded rectangle under the select menu. And I'm going to change the radius to about 25. Click on concave. And that gives me a concave edge selection. I'll turn this selection into a path using select to path. Make it visible by clicking on it. And that gives us another path. Okay, let's put some text in on the canvas. Click on this text tool. Click and drag a bounding box and type in some text. I'll use my name. Change the size of the text. Like that. Move the bounding box. Now whenever you're working with text, you get a, a function under the layer menu called Text to Path. So we'll turn that text into a path. Then over here in the Path Stockable dialog, you'll see that we have that text path available. We'll make it visible by clicking on it. Back in the Layers menu, we will um, click back on the background so that we can see our paths more clearly. Now once again, we have to turn all these paths into one path by right-clicking it. Merge Visible Paths. And then once we have all those paths merged, we can export it by right-clicking the path, choosing Export Path. We'll name this and put a dot .svg at the end. It's very important to include the dot .svg so that your CAM software can recognize the file. Okay, once we have our paths, we can open our CAM software. Um, I use a software called Simply Cam 2. I will open my file. I'll choose the size. Now, <coughs> now, since we used the rectangle placeholder around the whole outside, all we have to do is type in the height. Five, I think it was 7.5 inches. Or was it? By 10, wasn't it? Maybe it was. No. 5.5. Oh, yeah. It was 5.5 in height. I'll click on the left um, reference setting for the left. Import it in. And from here, you can actually simply delete your placeholder around the whole thing. Um, I'll select pocket, use a eighth inch diameter tool. And I'll make it one eighth inch in depth and pocket that out. Um, I'll simulate this. And there you go. And that's it. Thanks for watching.